Good morning, Patriots. Today's Monday, February 11th, and you're tuning into Patriot Press News. I, I I'm Audrey Gonzalez and here are this morning's announcements. This past Friday, your annual Mr. Heritage took place in the theater and a great time it was. After a hard battle between, between your senior gentlemen showed talent skills, a question and answer interview portion, and showing off in some tuxes, here are your winners. Your second runner-up was named Mr. Legacy is Eric Tillett. Your first runner-up and named Mr. Patriot is Joel Pleasant. And your 2019 Mr. Heritage is Aaron Madrigal. Congrats to all of you. Did you know that your robotics club is selling Valentine's keychains? Well, tomorrow is your last day to get yours ordered with a personalized name. You can get one for whoever you want and are only $2. Find them in the quad during lunches. Now, let's check out this PSA. Good morning. My name is David, and today I'm going to be discussing the importance of exercise. With break coming up, you're sure to kick back and relax. However, incorporate some exercise into your break. You won't regret it. Just half an hour a day is recommended for adults and one hour a day for teens. I'm positive you can find some time to exercise throughout your day. Did you know that heart disease is one of the leading causes of death in the US? Regular exercise can lower blood pressure, improve cholesterol levels, and ultimately lower the risk of getting heart disease. Active people that already have high blood pressure and cholesterol levels are less likely to die prematurely than inactive people, so stay active regardless of your situation. Exercising also boosts your immune system. A boost could be very useful this time of year, with the weather changing and sicknesses starting to pop up. Physical activity may help flush bacteria out of the lungs and airways. This may reduce your chance of getting a cold, flu, or other illness. Exercise causes change in antibodies in white blood cells, or WBCs. WBCs are the body's immune system cells that fight diseases. These antibodies circulate more rapidly so they can detect illnesses earlier than they might have before. However, no one knows whether these changes help prevent infections. Now let's dive into some statistics. According to the American Psychological Association, 62% of adults who say that they exercise or walk to help manage stress say the technique is very or extremely effective. Not only do adults benefit from exercise, teens reap benefits too. 53% of teens say they feel good about themselves after exercising. 40% say it pulls them in a good mood. And 32% say they feel less stressed after exercising. If you can take anything away from this video, exercise. It will relieve stress and ultimately make you more healthy. That's all the time I have for today. Thanks for listening. Brittany Kathy here with a quick sports update. Over the weekend, your wrestling team competed at CIF Championships and Heritage brought home some wins. Coming in seventh place in the heavyweight class was Adrian Lepro. In the 220 pound class, Ralph Baraja took first place, being the first male wrestler in Heritage history to win a CIF championship. He celebrated his 100th career win as well this weekend. And we'll move on to the Masters this coming Friday and Saturday. Good luck. That is our announcements for today, Patriots. Have a wonderful, amazing day. We will all see you back tomorrow.